using a TI-8384 plus calculator to determine the linear correlation coefficient and regression equation. This video uses example 1 from section 10-2 and example 1 from section 10-3. The following procedure requires that you have paired sample data in two different lists. In this example, we use the paired data from table 10-1 titled Shoe Print Lengths and Heights of Males. The shoe print data are contained in list L1 and the height data are contained in list L2. Press the STAT key, then use the arrow key to select Tests from the top menu. Select the menu item LinReg T test and then press Enter. For X list, enter the list name for the first variable. In this example, we enter L1, which includes the shoe print lengths. For Y list, enter the name of the list that contains the second variable. In this example, we enter L2, which is the list that contains the height data. For frequency, enter 1. For beta and rho, select the option that corresponds to a test of the null hypothesis. To test no correlation, select the option does not equal 0. To test a negative correlation, select the option less than 0. To test a positive correlation, select the option greater than 0. In this example, we are testing the null hypothesis of no correlation between shoe prints and heights, so we select the option does not equal zero. Use the arrow keys to select calculate, then press enter. The results include the p-value, correlation coefficient r, and test statistic t. For the regression equation, the results also include the y-intercept a and the slope B. There are too many results to fit on one screen, so use the arrow keys to scroll through the results. In this example, the linear correlation coefficient r is calculated to be 0.591269 or 0.591 rounded. The results also include a p-value of 0.293686 3226 or 0 0.294 rounded. Because this p-value is not less than or equal to the significance level of 0 0.05, we conclude that there is not sufficient evidence to support the conclusion that there is a linear correlation between shoe print lengths and heights of people. For the regression equation, we refer to the values provided for A and B. These results show that the regression equation can be expressed as the predicted height of a person or y hat equals 125 plus 1.73 times the length of the shoe print or x.